The biggest problem with ReConnect is the it's done by the Rural Utility Service, which is part of the, part of the USDA. And they have rules that make them act like a bank, except the rules make them act like a bank from 1956, back when they first put these rules in place. So they've never been updated. And so they have these very archaic rules of how they have to put certain liens on the property and all sorts of stuff that have stopped a lot of companies from ever considering their money. And so because of that, what's happened is, because over the years, they were the original entity that actually funded electric co-ops way back in the day. If you created a co-op in the 30s, they lent you the money, and that's how you built your co-op. And those folks have still stayed loyal to them. So most of these grants go to their original owner, the people used at USDA, because they already know them. So they sort of give the money to their friends, to be honest. <laughs> and so, and there's nothing wrong with that because electric co-ops do a great job with broadband. They're, they don't have any profit in their price. I mean, this, this is not a bad use of government money, right? And so, uh, but it's almost impossible. It's almost impossible for a municipality to get the money. And, and anyone like Travis who has commercial loans, he can't keep his commercial loan and also get from the USDA. They insist, we said earlier, first place in the priority of lending. Okay. So, you, so you just can't borrow their money. And so the, I would fix that. But, but the problem with fixing that is we might open up the door to all that money going to CenturyLink. So I, I'm not sure I would change it, to be honest. It's, it's one of the few grants that have almost every one of their projects has done a very good amount of work. It works. You know, grant programs that actually turn into good broadband are kind of hard to complain about. The paperwork is not fun, but the people who are already RUS borrowers already know how to do that paperwork. So it's kind of a pool of money for people who are already in that system. It's a very small piece of the big puzzle. I'd say let them have it. At least somebody's doing it right. So. <laughs>